Hey everyone, it's July 1st. We're at our local hunt club to get sighted in because I haven't announced yet, but I leave for Alaska in 34 days for a caribou hunt. And we're gonna see how it goes today at 100, 200, and 300. So what guns do you plan on taking? Taking either a 6.5 Creedmoor or a 300 Remington Ultra Magnum. I feel like the 300 Ultra Magnum would be the obvious choice. Why yeah. is the 6.5 on the table? 6.5 is on the table because it's a little lighter and doesn't kick as hard. What ammo do you probably shoot this year? 180 grain nozzler, and then the 6.5 will be quarter day. You went out there smoking Boone and Crockett the first day? You guys gonna drag it out and shoot cows the last day? I'm gonna drag it out and shoot a cow the last day. Yeah, that's what we like. All the time before you shoot, make sure you have eyes and ear protection when shooting Magnum rifles especially. Two inches high at 100 right now. So we're gonna switch back to the 6.5 and see how it does. About a half inch out of the bullseye. Same spot, third side. Bullseye. This is the 300 Ultra Magnum, and this is the 6.5 Creed one. So what do you think so far? Uh, I don't know, we're gonna see at 200, that'll make my decision. All right, we are now gonna shoot the 6.5 at 200 yards. Let's go. Probably a good 20 mile an hour wind. I'll uh, shoot one more. <laughs> right above the bullseye. No, no. Right in there. Let's go down and take a look. So the 6.5, I held dead on with no hold over at all just to see where it hit. Aiming here, I hit here. I went to the second mark in the scope and hit here and here. The Ultra Mag, I hit here for the first shot, here for the second shot, holding dead on, and this was my error, me throwing the shot. Time to go to 300. So we were shooting at 300 at the steel gong. I hit it. That was my first shot. Second shot, I switched ammo and the three shots that I took are all right there. I shot here with the new ammo and down here with the old at 300. I'm going to Thunder Valley Precision next weekend to work on some more stuff with holdover out to 700 yards. So in Alaska, there's a really good chance of running into a grizzly bear or a wolf or anything to that nature. So we're gonna bring out the bear protection now. It is a Smith & Wesson 460 XVR. So tonight went extremely well. I made my decision on which rifle I'm gonna take to Alaska. I'm gonna shoot the 300 Ultra Magnum at out to 300 yards, it only drops six inches. The 6.5 drops like 15, so I'm just gonna stick with 300. We shot the 460 Smith & Wesson at close range for bear, just to see how it does. All in all, everything went great tonight, so. Does that Tika look good in the camera there? Buddy, if it looked any better, I'd find myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got a Tika T3, 300 Winchester short mag. We're shooting the Precision Hunter, uh, 200 grain. ELDXs, hopefully they'll do a caribou well. All right, ready? Fire in the hole. 
That's 100 yards. Uh, looks like I hit, right. no, right, just right. A little bit down. I'd say about an inch and a half down and all the way at the edge of the target. All right, fire in the hole. Huh, dead center. It was? Just out of the bullseye. All right, I don't, that's not accurate. Something happened there. Did you hit the bullseye? I, no, but I, I feel like we didn't do anything. And uh, I'm not confident that that was an accurate uh, assessment there. Ready? Yep. Fire in the hole. I will say you got excellent service. Was that high there? That's what you want. That's one, two, right, right at the top, a two. All right, fire in the hole. Right beside it. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna put some stickers out. I'll just bring this with you. Bring a whole pack, I'll let it blow away. You got some excitement out of Dean. <laughs> Same energy out of Nick. My dad likes to watch the Powerball. We're shooting at 100 yards, and I think we're hunting caribou, question mark. That's what the question is going to be. If there's no caribou, we're not hunting anything. <laughs> so this is Dean's target here. This is his first shot, then we moved him over to here, and then we moved him up and a little more, so that way he's going to be pretty much dead on at 200 now. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. It looks like it's to the left. Yeah. You want to just keep it? I wouldn't mess with it. Shoot it again. Perfect. I mean, you're like an inch high. That's uh, a hit. You can shoot it again if you want. One. Yeah, I want to take a third one. But your money. I mean, you're an inch high of what you're aiming at. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, fire in the hole. He went really high that time. He pulled. That was high? You pulled. Four you think inches. so? Four yeah, inches you're four you inches high. You had to have pulled. Right, hold on. Fire in the hole. Three inches high, I'll do it. Three part. inches high? How come it's shooting high now? I think it's around? No, it's just probably getting hot. What are you moving sights for? No, 300 yards. That, that's just the oh, focus. Okay. Dude, it may, I can't believe how much of a difference that makes. Oh, yeah. White bucket outdoors. Take one. <laughs> He's into it. it. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Find the hole. I don't have one singular idea. Aim for the gong. Yeah, just shoot the gong. I can't see where it's at either. Fire in a hole. I think it's high. Way high, like four feet high. How is that possible? You're shooting over top of the target. Money, dude. That was a gong, wasn't it? Broke the gong. I broke it. Hit it again. What, did you hit the metal? No, you hit the gong, but it pulled the chain off a piece of rebar. Oh. Yeah, you're smacking the f out of that thing. It turns sideways now. How am I on? One second, then you move it and it's off. All right, this is 100 yards. Dead center of the middle target. It definitely didn't hit in the target. Hold on, let me hit another one, Nick. Okay. Hang on. I don't even know where it's at. We are shooting my 300 Remington Ultra Magnum at 200 yard steel gong. There it was. How'd it do? Good, really good. It hit, so not much else. You just seem uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable. All right, do the thing. <laughs> uh, we're here at our gun club to sight in for our trip to Alaska. Redo this again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> God bless it. I need like a teleprompter. I feel like Joe Biden.